Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron Minson with Minson Productions. And today, I want to go through two different mandolins that I have with me. One is an Ibanez, which costs about 400 And the other one is a Kentucky mandolin, which costs about 1600 So, we're going to go through these and we're going to talk about the differences. But we're also going to figure out to is a higher dollar value instrument really worth it because I have a Fender Squire back here behind me that sounds and plays great and I wanted to see in your guys opinion which one you like better so leave a comment down below let me know and I will comment back with you and we can start a conversation and try to figure this thing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with the Ibanez mandolin. This is the Ibanez mandolin right here and I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I'm using this traditional pick. I do have a tortoise shell pick that I will use with this one but it's on the other mandolin right now. We're going to actually, I, we're going to also talk about the difference that a pick makes because I believe that a pick has a lot to do with the sound as well because these have a lot more of attack with them than the tortoiseshell ones and also the strings of both the Adario sets they are medium sets on both of them and the actions are about the same on both of them the only difference is I believe the wood and also this uh, Ibanez mandolin has a pit guard. And they're tuned to about the same. I tried to get them in tune, but you know how acoustic instruments are. They tend to detune, especially mandolins, as they are set out. The other difference too is that this one has vinyl grommets on it, on the bottom here, and the other one doesn't. And I don't think the other one, the Kentucky Mandolin, needs the grommets. And I'll show you that in a minute as well. So that is just the sound from it. Let me go ahead and play you a little bit more of it, and I'll go ahead and play some of the same stuff on the Kentucky Mandolin as well. Got a really good amount of sustain. This one does. These they are both Eshtar mandolins. I should have um, said that in the beginning, and I'm saying it now. So this one also does have a tone guard on the back. I can put this tone guard on the other mandolin, but I can't fit it in the case, so I decided to leave it off. So now for the other mandolin. This mandolin is the Kentucky mandolin, the $1,600 mandolin. As you can tell. It does not have the um, grommets on the front of it. It is of a higher quality wood. It feels heavier, because it is in my opinion. And it's a little bit brighter, even with this tortoise shell pick. I'm getting more of these, but this is the one that I have right now. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit worn. And it makes a difference in the sound because there's some places on this pick that I have worn off and it makes a really different sound and it just it's easier to get that um, really 
big tremolo going. So this is a really nice one. I actually prefer the sound of the Kentucky one, even though it's a little, little, little bit brighter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play for you a little bit, and and we will go ahead and see if you can hear the differences. I'm going to flip this around. the sound of the other pick, the flat pick, not the tortoiseshell pick, but the flat pick sound with this. Well, this is what the traditional flat pick sounds like. So that is the traditional flat pick with the Kentucky mandolin. I'm going to switch over to the tortoiseshell and the Ibanez mandolin and we'll see how that sounds. shell brings out a darker color, darker sound to the Ibanez mandolin and I don't know if it's the wood that the Ibanez is made of or if it's the coloration of that wood because this is a more darker wood than the Kentucky mandolin right here as you can tell. And this one is a lot more lighter. The Ibanez mandolin is a lot more lighter than the Kentucky mandolin, especially in the neck. And usually that's where where mandolins have a difference is in the neck. And the neck profile on the Kentucky one versus the Ibanez one are different as well. The Ibanez one has more of a V-neck shape as the Kentucky as the um I'm sorry, the the Kentucky has more of a v-neck shape and the Ibanez one has more of a C shape all the way down the neck. The Kentucky one kind of has it starting from the very
top here and kind of curves out to a c-neck shape which is really interesting and something that I really like in a mandolin. So I hope that you have liked this comparison. Please comment, rate, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.